They're on every battle arena show. They're such good guys. Stuart Davis, head coach, Bama veteran, pro MMA fighter, pro Muay Thai fighter. And every, every one of the guys they put in the ring absolutely brings it. One of the top gyms now in the country and always putting on a great show here at Battle Arena. And always a list of young guys that are just cranking out of that gym that are getting ready for fights, having fights, and sharpening their skills. So we're going to see Joe Taylor be the latest addition to throw down here in the Battle Arena cage. He's got his team with him. And we got some of the, I think we got a Banbury Martial Arts Center guy uh, in one of the title fights later this evening. Really looking forward to this fight. This is going to be, uh, so Banbury Martial Arts Center, they're affiliated to 10th Planet. So we're going to see some unusual grappling, maybe some rubber guard. We've seen uh, a lot of their guys come out with some, kind of a nice mix of Muay Thai Jiu Jitsu. Mario from All Powers Gym. This is a Muay Thai heavy gym. They love a bit of uh, action on the feet. We, s we saw Mario, he, uh, he suffered a very quick loss before on Battle Arena, so I think he's trying to uh, kind of uh, get back on a winning streak. He got, got caught in a 10 second armbar before, so he wants to show his skills now, throw some strikes. Yeah, land a few this time around and maybe not get caught too much in the grappling game. Hopefully he's gone back to his all-powers gym, made some changes, worked on his footwork, and he's ready for that. All the, all the inevitabilities of an MMA fight. They train and walk around at. We're going to see what they can really do in the gym. And bo both guys from gyms with heavy Muay Thai uh, instructors, so we might see lots of clinch, maybe some nice leg kicks. Thai boxers tend to be looking for power all the time. Just like that, that was a classic example there. Big power leg kick and a big overhand right power. You see Joe Taylor going to the leg twice there. And then Stankov wading in with punches and hooks to the body. Stankov does t seem to be the shorter of the two fighters. And maybe he will look to get inside and work the body a bit oh. more. Great time in there by Joe. But Mario's got the... Oh, wonderful hip toss there by Joe. But Mario's so strong, he's getting out of it straight away. Excellent head and arm toss there from Joe Taylor. Stankov now working that underhook, trying to get the, trying to reverse the position with his back against the cage. Ooh, big Ooh. knee from Joe Taylor. Brilliant pressure by Joe Taylor. You know, holding Mario right against the fence. Mario's a strong guy for Joe to be able to pressure in, but he's got to watch his neck there. He might be caught in a guillotine. I think he's safe. I think he's head through. Yeah, Stankov had the arm in there. It's very difficult to finish that position from arm in. We're right, in we're right in front of us here. Joe Taylor looking to maybe duck under and get into a double leg. And Stankov is happy to accept that with a guillotine attempt. But as I said, it was arm in. Well, now he's in side control. He's, very, he's not under much threat from guillotine. But wow, Stankov is strong, being able to just muscle Joe Taylor over from side control to side control. And now he's in Joe Taylor's guard where oh, Joe Taylor looks to make a triangle. triangle. Brilliant. Now he's gone way far to the angle there, underhooking the leg. He gets the tap. Wow, that was an exchange of featherweights there, wasn't it? So fast, so strong. That was a, an impressive triangle. That was so fast, super slick. Really you know, quick transition. And you know, the real difference is there is... There. Battery Martial Arts Centre, making winners. Both fighters with big futures and a lot to be happy about and a lot they can take away from it. Awesome. Well, that's quick. We've got a great win for you. Let's do it. Make some more noise again for your winner, Joe Taylor.